in me. Alright, welcome viewers, this is the Dead Man's Hand 420 here with a stream of Final Fantasy X here with what's your PSN General Chaos? I forgot the exact uh name there. General General Chaos One and got a couple little dashes in there between the name and the number. Alright, and uh this is his first playthrough of Final Fantasy X. I decided to help him out with this stream. So we're going to dive right into it. I'm going to be pressing Final Fantasy X here right now. So General Chaos, if you want to press that little button up there, get the game started. It's on the loading screen. Now we're going to watch the whole credits or just press start and skip through them and get to the... Um, we, we'll watch through it for now since it's a stream and it's the first playthrough. All right. That's not that long. Four hours later. Viewers, I promise that is not a bong. <laughs> uh, no, it is not. It is my flask full of water. But that is a common misconception. Everyone thinks it is a bong rip every time I take a drink from it. That's the excuse I'm going to use when I start smoking a bong on, on a stream. <laughs> Taking a drink of my flask, ooh. Yes, viewers, just so you are well aware, we're not against the 420. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously by my name. Not at all. Right. <laughs> okay. I wonder actually how old this character is. What you mean, your PSN or the uh, no, the t uh, the Titus character, the blonde guy. Oh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like honestly, I almost want to say like seventeen. Oh, when did this game come out? Uh, did this come out like when we were in high school? So. Oh yeah, dude, it was like 02, I think, okay. 2002, 2004, around there. Oh yeah, like, you gotta get right. used by that long. And uh, I'm gonna hit new game right here. Alright, right now? Yeah, I just hit right, it. Hit uh, it. And so the standard spear grid is like a bit easier, but you're not able to like really uh, like max out your characters, I believe, or it wasn't as easy to max out your characters, is what I read. Uh, so we're gonna go with the expert spear grid just just in case we're able to, you know, get our characters up in level. Okay. Let's hit yes on there. Select soundtrack type nice. arranged or original. Uh, I like what you said before. Go with the original since it's the first playthrough. Uh, although I do remember uh, when I recently played this, I did go with arranged and I, I did like it. Uh, so it's not bad. But we're okay. going to go with original here. Alright. No, I'm going to keep my volume down until the cutscenes for things I need to hear. Right. And that way you can just hear the, our audio. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the viewers. <laughs> of course. I don't care about you. <laughs> So 
So I won't I won't reveal any of the names yet, but just from the characters you're seeing, do you have a, a favorite so far? Uh kind of like that big dude that was sitting off in the corner like the first guy we saw, but the uh beast looking one? Yeah. Yeah, he's she looks a, like she's a, weak, a weakling. <laughs> yeah, I don't say, but she's probably boss as fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, not the dude with like the feathers on his shoulders, but the one that's like kitty corner and got the yellow pants and the red hair. Oh, okay, all right. Doesn't have a shirt on, I think, unless it's just like matches his skin tone. Uh, I don't think he does. I think he has like a little strap on his shoulder. That's about it. Uh, like a little shoulder guard type thing. Yeah, it was, there, it was like a tattoo or something. That's why I wasn't sure if he was wearing a shirt or not. But and something I just really noticed: sure. the uh, necklace that this guy is wearing, Titus, was actually the uh, I want to say the Final Fantasy X symbol uh, that we saw on like the main screen, like the load-up screen. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I just noticed story. that. Man. This may be our last chance. Look at this dude, we haven't even started the game, he's just bossing us around. <laughs> I think I'm keeping my guy's name the same as before though. Are you gonna keep yours as default? Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it as Titus. Alright, well. I'm naming mine Jerkules. <laughs> All right, without so without ruining too too much though, the real Jerkules is his dad. No, was I mean because we did like a that little entry before. Just, was that that guy that was on that poster? Or? No. Oh, okay. Alright. So, like, these little cutscenes now, like with the fans, we're, we're gonna play through and watch all of those and not skip anything. Right. Like, we're not gonna talk to every single person, but anything, like, that's a right. cutscene or anything like that, we're gonna... Right. Alright. No, you cannot have my autograph. <laughs> you know what happens? When you ask a star <laughs> blitzball player for his autograph, you make the list. You just made the list. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna confirm his uh, Titus here. All right, I'm entering mine in now. I just gotta remember that. The little pointer actually has to be. I keep putting the pointer next to the letter I want to use, not. Right. And that's why it keeps fucking me up. But. Jerky Lee's. Confirm. Alright. I hit proceed. Alright, so did I. Nothing to worry about. Have the oh, fans say nice good luck. Cool. I'll. Uh, do this. That would mean it was for you. Okay. <laughs> what seat? Wow, that's just so corny. Makes me want to vomit. Got it. Yeah, now thinking about it, I kind of want to switch my name, but whatever. Thank you, please. <laughs> Jerkies, the adventures of Jerkies and Jackass. Well, no, I was going to do, uh, I actually liked, uh, Jack Jr. That's what his dad name was, is Jack. So I like doing a uh, Jack Jr. thing. Alright, I'm talking to these other kids now, so I can progress to the... I'm actually thinking of restarting, just to change the name. <laughs> That's savage. Would you be cool with that? I'd rather not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just get it over with. Now I think we got to talk to everybody else here. 
Uh, I talked to the two girls and the little kids, and then I tried to leave. And oh, okay. To the next cut scene. Where, where'd you leave right. at? Why am I asking these questions? I didn't like Charlie. I just tried to like walk through the crowd. Like, I talked to the girls and I talked to like the oh, kids. Oh, little boys. Yeah, okay. And then, no yeah, and then I tried to like walk off, and then it went to the cutscene. Right. Like it started with her asking, teaches how to play blitzball or whatever. Take it easy. Now up here where he's like looking at that poster or whatever. Yeah, there we go. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Is that, is that, a, is that a poster or is that like a video screen on the side of the building? Uh, I believe that's a video screen. Hey, I got a game to play. No, they don't. They don't dive too much into it. Yeah, yeah, well. Oh, dude, that little creepy kid thing that follows you around, dude. That that gets so weird, man. All right, but I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. That kid in the cape or whatever, hooded. Mm. He's like, oh, you can't tonight. Well, what do you know about my life? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Hey, now who who is this doing the narration? Um, I'll have to catch up to where you're at. Most likely it's oh. Titus, I assume. Well, it's not the same voice like when he was talking. It's like I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jack. Gone. Oh I no, that narrator. Uh, I actually don't know. My dad must have been his biggest fan. Oh, okay. I don't know how sad he'd be. Heck, we Are you that day. Zanar, I says to myself, done with that yet? Zanar is dead. his name apparently. Now, straight back home, we sat up oh. talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, <laughs> didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup so... tournament is today. If it's Two teams that have won Jet through to the Junior, finals are, of course, why are they the Abes from the East and the Douglas Titus, from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today huh? to see the star of the Abes. I said, if his name is Jet Junior, why do they call him player. Titus or Titus, whatever the hell his Jack's name is? No, no, that's that's the name like I what kind of I gave him in one of my uh, playthroughs. Will we see his father's well, no, but like I actually just came up like an NPC on the street, and he said, "Well, he said, well, well, if it isn't Jet Junior." <laughs> oh well, they, he was probably just like being sarcastic. Uh, yeah, okay. Because he was like, you know, follow. He's trying so hard to like follow in his dad foot, his dad's footsteps and stuff. All right, I'm oh, going on okay. to the next area here. All right, I'm running down there right now. Alright, I'm crossing the ramp thing now. Yeah, I'm right by all these fans. Yeah, I just loaded in. Hopefully my audio is good enough when you load it up. This should be. Yeah, well, right. if, you're, if you're going to... Uh, mash them together at some point that should work oh man one of the best cutscenes ever oof I'm excited And the fact that they got Ramstein to do it, man. It's Ramstein. Ramstein. Pronounce it right. <laughs> well, that's one of the things that annoys me so much. It's like XM Radio when they play him. It's Ramstein. It's like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ramstein. Like, have you ever watched an interview of the band ever? <laughs> Yeah, Orin's a badass. Yeah. What's 
just they're getting wasted up there or something? Mr. Sunglasses? <laughs> I actually think that is alcohol. I think he's puffing on something right now, like a couple bubbles, like puff of cloud, like you know, do do bong rips. <laughs> I like how you commented it too when you saw this a little bit before where you're like, man, this guy is so casual about everything. <laughs> uh, I, I was actually going to re-comment that. I was just going <laughs> to save it, but... <laughs> you had to go and ruin it now, douche. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> uh, I will. By the way, no one knows if he made that shot or not. Oh. Uh, yeah, no one knows if he made it because end of the world is <laughs> <laughs> happening around him. Like, you, you, you see like half the arena whose back is to that, that wave coming in. Yeah. And they're all over there. And then they're looking at the other half of the arena of all the people just running and screaming, like, oh, did he make it? Like, like what, did, what did we miss? <laughs> the end of the fucking world's coming, that's what. <laughs> Alright, now I'm running down and talking to Orin here. What are you doing here? Alright, I'm still loading in, so I'm a couple seconds behind. But yeah, folks, just what we were referring to before when I first started in, I see who apparently was Orange just sitting there, leaning up against the rock, chilling like ain't shit going on. And just what I initially said, that motherfucker looks suspect as hell, just all there all casual, like nothing's going on. Or, I'm oh, just waiting for you, you know, like nothing's <laughs> going on, no big deal. You know? Buildings are collapsing around us, water's flooding, people are trampling each other in terror. I'm just going to chill here and wait for you. <laughs> Alright. Creepy ass little kid who can freeze time. Okay. What the? Yeah, like I said, that gets weirder and weirder. Hey, wait. I kind of wish, like, right now, he just straight up, like, hey, big boot his ass. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't even have to try, man. He could even do, like, a scissor kick and just fucking destroy that little bastard. Show me what they're looking at already. Huh, okay. A giant floating ball of water. Yeah, this orange dude is shady. He already knows what it is and stuff. <laughs> nah. I ain't feeling I ain't feeling him. Him is what his left broken arm and shit all just dangling there like Ugh. Giant moth looking things. From Jet. My old man? Man, kick that thing in his face. Come on, man. Sweet chin music, that thumb bitch. I hope you know how to use it. Or, or have this dude pull out a giant ass sword. Where'd you have that, hmm? <laughs> mm -hmm. so it's bigger than you are. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What's this GTA now where you can run around with a personal arsenal but none of it's showing? <laughs> pretty much. 5,000 pounds worth of gear? Yeah, pretty much, actually. I mean, there is a limit, but right. it's quite a bit. Yeah, figure as much. Alright, uh, you loaded in the first battle? Yeah, I killed my first little beastie. Uh, Alright, well, what I want to tell you before we get started on these battles, you see that top right, that uh, little cursor roll? It says, like, A, B, C, and then it has, like, logos of your yeah. people. That is the turn yeah. order. So, like... Okay. Like, it, like, for me on my screen, it shows Tidus and then uh, opponent B and then Orin. So, obviously, you want to attack opponent B and try and kill it so he doesn't get that turn on you. You know, in front of the other uh, two. Okay, for me, I'm showing Orin. And I actually can't me. attack anybody else, actually. So, that's fine. Orin went first, so... Yeah, just, uh, just keep on attacking, cutting these people out. These are nothings. I see that. One hitting them shit, the weak ones. Don't bother going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run. Power break, huh? I wouldn't worry about using any of that right now unless you're right. yeah, unless you're in like right. a big big battle. Uh power I break. See what it is. Yeah, uh, power break will uh, uh lower their power attack. It'll like lower their attack for like 3 3 to 5 turns or something like that. Might actually be the whole battle. Uh, oh wait, so I control Orin too, not just GPs. Oh yeah. Yeah, you control uh, whoever's right. in the party. You can control Ah, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. And now, uh... I think you should be at the next battle by now. You see how Orin's gauge is full? And it's red? Uh, no, not yet, because I was fucking figuring out that little cursor thing. Oh, okay. Uh... It'll actually give you a little, uh, tutorial message anyway about that. Okay, yeah, I'm like, a little mini cutscene, where running over, like, the hump. A little big... Octop... I don't, I don't even know what the hell... <laughs> I described this thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see it now, orange, all bright, and... Yeah, uh, so that is what they call overdrives, and that basically is your special high damage attack. And uh, it's different for every person. So for Orin, mm -hmm. it will be a button sequence that you have to do in like 5 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds. And then uh, Tidus is actually, uh, there's a little small bar in the middle, and there's a thing that bounces back and forth. you got to hit X when it's in the middle, in that middle bar. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Bushido. Dragon Fang. Oh, and, uh, um, we'll get into it later, but there's a way to get more overdrives per person. Like mo uh, the easiest way is just you got to use overdrive. You got to keep using it and keep using it. I think that's for Titus actually. So whenever Titus has one, you want to use it as soon as possible. Yeah. I mean, unless so, you're saving uh, for like a big boss or something, you know. Can you actually attack your teammate? Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've actually, I've, I've, I've actually it. done it a, a few times. Like when they were missing attacks, I would just like throw, <laughs> like attack real quick. Be like, no, fuck you. <laughs> like, start acting right. No, this Orin dude, he just, I don't know, he seems shady to me. Like he watched this whole like apocalypse coming in. He didn't like 
try to warn nobody, nothing. Just, yeah. Just let it happen, then he's out there all just rolling the joint, waiting for me to come out for my fucking near death experience. <laughs> Dude, shady, I'm telling you. I'm already calling do shady. Spiral cut. Oh. Ah, okay. Gives you multiple attempts. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like uh, most most of the uh, overdrives are a timed thing. Yeah. Well, I figured if, like you missed it on the first try, it would just be like it or like weaken the attack. You know, like wouldn't do full, but right. The only one that's actually really difficult is uh, the magic chick that you get later. Hers is you gotta like rotate this stick like your life dependent on it. Like it's really rough. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you almost done beating it? You should be able to see by the tentacles it has left. Okay, I was actually just gonna ask. Is there any way to indicate the. Uh, well, that usually if you, if you have a uh, sensor on the ability on one of your weapons, it'll actually show, like, the weaknesses and the health of the person and the MP. Oh, okay. Uh, but we don't have anything too great yet. Uh, but this you can usually right. tell by the tentacles, like, once it gets down to the last one. Oh, I actually just beat it. Uh, yeah, it's got just a big one left now. Yeah, yeah, so once you attack it, you'll beat it. Yeah. Why? Oh, yep, that got it. And, uh, so... So, if you go up a little bit and to your right, you're gonna see, like, a little spear sitting on the ground. Uh, up to my right? Yeah, you go past all those little things in the ground, and then to your right, there's gonna be a spear on the ground. Yeah. Oh, the sphere. The yeah, you see thing? that. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, your that's your save points in the game. Okay. Uh, also, fully restores your party's HP. Okay. Uh, so drop a save then. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, every one you go to, I I'll usually save, just because okay. it does re it does restore your life and your MP and all that. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, I saved. So. Alright, so then we'll go forward here. There should be another cutscene coming up. Yep, I'm loading into it now. What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. Lauren, let's get out of here. Expect it. Huh? Give me a break, man. Yeah. Now here's a question. Can you cut all these down or is uh, the point just to try and get through as quick as possible? Um, I actually forgot this. I think this you gotta keep killing them until there's like no more left. I think something happens. Alright. Uh, and then when their wings start to flicker, you definitely want to kill those, because those do a special attack that do a high damage. Okay. And then, uh, you might see when Orin kills some of them, that little overkill thing. Uh, the more uh -huh. enemies you overkill, the better the rewards are going to be after the battle. Like, you'll get rare items and, like, double the amount of coins, double the XP. Okay. So you now, are we getting XP and stuff right now, or is this still basically, like, tutorial mode? Um, I think after all these battles, we'll get something. Hmm. Alright, okay. That. Knock it down. Yeah, there what? we go. Trust me, you'll see. Just you sniped on me, little bastard.
Now how do you... Okay, alright, I see now. Go. It's gonna blow! So that dude on the video screen is Jerkulees' dad. Yeah. Okay. And he just vanished at some point. Right. I'm assuming that's going to be explained later. Yes. You are sure. Fall, isn't he? I know it. Yeah, you let him fall. He's shit. Now you're gonna have him at all. Dude, shady. <laughs> My host should be stepping on his fingers and shit. Are you sure? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this dude is so shady. Not even funny. My old man. Are you keeping track of the time, by the way? Because I forgot to. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me know when you're floating in the water. All right, someone's yelling at me, hey, hey, now, so. All right, um, yeah, I'm floating now. I didn't realize it was water, but. Yeah, I think we got to go uh, all the way down. Can't go up? No. Yeah, I guess. Oh. Oh, yeah, we gotta go by this kid in the middle. You see him? Nope. Uh, to the left. You gotta go all the way down, like, hold circle. Yeah. Uh, uh, looks like Orin, isn't it? Or is it? No. Not someone else, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mad cutscene. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel uh, lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream, a dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone beside me. So I didn't okay. have to feel alone anymore. Just woke up with this rat or something. Oh, bird. Anybody I thought there? it was like a rat eating a bird's corpse at first. <laughs> Orin! Hey! Scared the rat bird away. Yeah, I'm sorry. I would not be screaming like in this area it looks spooky as hell right probably sharks in the water and shit now are there any hidden hidden items to like to look for or? uh yeah there are a couple treasure chests here uh with money and like a couple potions uh nothing too great but obviously potions always helps and money helps so i'm gonna try finding them i know one is like I know, I think there's one underwater somewhere, I think, and I know there's a couple up on land, uh, can I get up on here, no. Uh, I see 
see something off to my right. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta find out how to get up on here. I just saw something off to my right. My camera view switched on me. Um, something is written here. E drown some. Um, yeah, that's called the Albed language. Uh, you have to find books on the ground, and each one will reveal one letter. <laughs> um, okay. that sounds like it's gonna be a fucking blast. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not like you have to go out of your way to look for them. Usually they're just, you know, shit you're gonna find. Oh. Uh, 200 gil, I'm assuming that's in-game currency, or the currency of the game. Right. Okay. I don't know why they, they just can't say coins or something. Like, I mean, I know it's lazy to not make up your own name, but still. Like, yeah. Like, I, uh, I wonder how long they spent, like, what can we name this? <laughs> you know, like... Instead of just okay, there is a there's a treasure chest over to the left with two potions in it. All right, you're gonna go like kind of up some stairs. You're gonna see a blue spear on the ground. You can kind of pass that up because that's not uh, effective to your game or to mine really. Right. Um, and then if you go like south from there on that little walkway, there's a uh, chest right. with two potions. I'm still over back by like the starting area. I'm trying to drown this fool right now. <laughs> <laughs> How long can you hold your breath underwater, Jerkules? Well, he's a professional blitzball player, so like forever. Yeah, it would seem so. The the laws of needing oxygen apparently don't apply to this fool. No. Jackass. Man, one thing I should have done is uh, there's actually a way to download a. Uh, like a save file to a USB and then uh, load load it into the game but just the Albed language so where you like none of it's confusing oh I got what you're saying yeah I've, we should have done yeah. that because that's not really too too hard and it would have made things better well it kind of takes away from well, yeah but no like yeah, but some things, like, you can't go back to. Like, you'll never be able to read it. Yeah, yeah that's what I was just going to say. You'd probably never be able to come back to this. Yeah, this is one of the areas you can't really come back to. Like, you, you come back to, like, this, uh, I don't know how to say it, like, this town or city, whatever you want to call it, but you can't, like, come back to here, I, I don't believe. Uh, introduction to the owl bed. Yeah, just ignore that. Go get that treasure chest, oh. and and we'll be on our way here. That okay. is basically what I was explaining. Like, you can load from another save file all the books you found. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. And I loaded some from my previous game, but it's only, like, a couple letters because I didn't get too far. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I see what you meant by that does not apply to your game. <laughs> yeah. And not really mine right. either, to be honest, so. Alright, I'm going up the big stairs now. Yeah, I'm um, about to make my way up there. I think we got all the treasure chests here. There might be one underwater somewhere, but it's we can miss it. I it's can. not important. Yeah. It's an ultra uber rare, rare weapon. <laughs> I wish the fucker could change his camera angles. Oop, I'm just loaded into a cut. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, well, did you did you save? There's a save spear. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. All right. Uh, so I'm actually gonna stop the clip after this save. Okay. And then you just press share. Yeah. All right. So I want to thank the viewers for watching episode one. Here we're gonna do episode two right after this. We are not taking a break. So I'm gonna save my clip, and uh, we'll see you on episode two.